beautiful welcome back to my tarot channel if this is your first time here i'm roya i'm an intuitive tarot and oracle reader now my dear i hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you if today's not the best day i'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading. And today's pick a card reading is all about child messages from your future spouse. Now my dear, this is also going to be a candle wax reading by the way. So as always, I have three pals you can choose from. This is pal one. This is pal 2 and this is going to be pal 3. As always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course, also in the comment section. And as always, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's see. Channeled messages from your future spouse. What do you need to know, my dear? Now, let's start straight away with your reading. I have your candle right here and it looks pretty interesting <laughs> look at this but it still works it's still a candle so for my beautiful pile one as always my dear as always please give me a moment please give me a moment and then let's see what channeled messages does your future spouse have for you what do you need to know Oh, this is sweet, you guys. Okay, that's interesting. The first message I'm receiving is your future spouse actually wants to share with you what they love about you. I don't know whether someone entered this reading with this intention to, you know, get more insights regarding this, but they definitely have something to say about that. So let me start with this um first of all my dear your future spouse wants you to know that they love i'm hearing they love but like <laughs> i don't know when i heard love i literally saw like love in like capital letters <laughs> they love your good nature this person has seen good before in people but in you they have seen your heart. You were able to do something that I'm hearing not a lot of people were capable to do. And it's touch their heart with your good, yeah, with your good spirit. I feel like this is something that your future spouse has noticed very early on in your relationship that... There is just something about you that draws them in and you have this light, you have this kindness that they recognize in you and it's something very, very highly. This person sees you very highly, my dear. Let me first say that and they appreciate this beauty that you have. I'm hearing a good heart is rare nowadays. That's interesting. Maybe that's something they say or they have thought before. But they definitely love... Honestly, they love who you are. It is not just one thing, but the whole package. Your future spouse, my dear, they want to share with you that... I'm hearing once 
they recognized who you were to them. Once they recognize that you are the person that they want to spend their life with, there was no going back. There were no doubts. This person you mean so much to them. And that's something I heard I heard tell them how much they mean to me. Yeah, yeah, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, your future spouse is coming through, my dear pal, one with all kinds of just emotions. It's a very emotional reading. One thing I can already say, whether you have met your future spouse or not, but one thing you will notice about it, or, well, maybe you will not notice it, actually. I don't know whether you will know it or not. But one thing I want to share with you is that emotionally speaking, you will, yeah, once again, reach your future spouse's heart pretty fast. And it's not necessarily something you do on purpose, but it's just who you are. Who you are is enough, I'm hearing. Who you are is what this person is looking for. I'm hearing, I know the waiting, the patience. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me, my dear. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. As I said, I heard that the waiting, the patience, it has been a long way. It has been a long time as well. You have been patiently waiting for your time to come and your future spouse wants to share with you that it is worth it, I'm hearing. The waiting is worth it. I don't know, honestly, whether um, this is connected to your guys' relationship, whether you're waiting for this, maybe you haven't met them yet or you're trying to reconcile with them. Or whether this is regarding an, like a different aspect of your life that they're trying to encourage you in. But what I'm getting is that whatever it is that you are very patiently waiting for, whether it's related to your love life or not, your future spouse truly wants to motivate you a little bit. Because it's almost like they know what's coming, you know? They know what's coming towards you and you may not right now and they want to, yeah, build you up or they want to inspire you to keep hoping and your future spouse, my dear, their energy, okay, their energy is definitely a very, very positive one. So you're actually connecting here with someone who... You will love being around them. You will love being exposed to their energy. It doesn't feel draining at all. In fact, it feels very recharging. Your future spouse, my dear pal one, wants you to know that... Okay, this is interesting... You are somehow connected to their life purpose. Wow. Oh my goodness. So something about you is connected to their life purpose. Maybe you will help them with their life purpose. Maybe their life purpose also. It's something about you. That's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of like your future spouse is not sharing with me everything about it, you know. They've just shown me when it comes to this purpose in their life, it is deeply connected to this connection you guys have and to you especially. And at the same time, though, they're not showing me like um, everything. It's kind of like it is still a little bit... Um, hidden from me so maybe you are not meant to know the whole purpose or the whole story behind it but all you should know is that 
you play a very, very significant role in your future spouse's life, my dear. Not only as a spouse, but there is something much deeper. Yeah, something much deeper. Something which could even go towards like, I'm hearing the spiritual aspect of life even. Wow. Another thing, by the way, your future spouse would like to share with you is they love your hair. Your hair, my dear, it's being emphasized to me so, so much. For some reason, your future spouse wants to share with you how beautiful you are. And in specific, they want to share with you how much they love your hair. And I'm hearing... I could um, run my hands through it for hours. <laughs> That's interesting. So yeah, they love your hair. That's something I'm, I'm seeing here as well. Mm, another thing, my dear pal Juan, your future spouse would like to share with you is Okay, I'm hearing very specific, I want to help you. What is it? What is it that your future spouse wants to help you with? This is very interesting because it feels very, very personal. There is something your future spouse wants to, to help you with. I feel like it has something to do with your personal growth or with your um, like development. Maybe they want to encourage you with something or, in, or inspire you to do something, to go for it, you know. It's kind of like, energetically speaking, they're going to be a huge support. Maybe even literally, maybe they're going to support you with something. But I'm hearing you can count on my help. You can always count on my help. This is very sweet. I don't know whether your future spouse is already in your life or not, my dear pal Juan, but I can't even emphasize enough how much emotional, oh, just intense intensity is coming through. Um, it is just incredible. What I can already tell you guys is that there is such a strong emotional bond between you and your future spouse and I don't feel like it is something that will take a long time to build but I actually think it's something you guys will, yeah, will have pretty early on in your relationship or even during the dating phase. You will feel drawn towards them. There is no doubt about that. This is so interesting. It's kind of like your future spouse is giving me a lot of insights regarding your relationship as well. So yeah, they want to share a few things, a few insights regarding that with you as well. But I just feel like it is starting off strong, your relationship. It's not like it's starting off weak or very distant and then it's going to become stronger and stronger. No, this feels like um, a bridge which is already like super firm, super secure and yeah, super strong. Wow, this is very interesting. My dear pal Juan, this is actually all I have for you guys for today. Now, my dear, if you would like to claim this energy as yours, let's go with a flower emoji. Drop any flower of your choice in the comment section below if you would like to claim this energy as yours. As always, if you haven't, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal Juan, take care, my dear. Hey, pal, to welcome to your reading, my dear. 
Now let's see what channeled messages do we have for you from your future spouse? What do you need to know? What would they like to share with you? Now, my dear, let's start straight away with your reading. I have your candle right here, so let's start. All right, so for my beautiful pal too, as always, my dear, as always, please give me a moment. And then let's see what channeled messages do we have for you from your future spouse. Let's see, let's see. Oh my goodness. Like, today the messages are so, so, oh my goodness, look at this look at that as i was saying um today the messages are so so sweet like for pal one as well like their future spouse was coming through with a lot of emotions and now for you guys the first thing i am receiving is your future spouse wants to share with you that they never thought they would find someone like you they never thought that they would find a partner who is as i'm hearing beautiful compassionate also healing healing is also coming through there is something about you your future spouse my dear pal too may find your your presence very healing or maybe you have a very healing impact on them so that's very interesting i feel like your energy is just something so so wow so so high vibrational to them so special and they never thought that they would yeah end up with someone like you and they're so so grateful for that i'm also hearing prepare yourself <laughs> prepare yourself for the changes that will enter your life with this union so that's interesting you and your future spouse together my dear yeah i'm hearing your life will not be the same a lot of changes will come into your life and as i was saying it i heard for the better so whatever these changes are this is your view what i'm getting is that you're going to be looking forward to them but still you know sometimes changes even if they're good they can feel a little bit either um, overwhelming or still a little bit uncertain. You know, that's just what happens when we bring something new into our life. And your future spouse, what they're sharing with you is to prepare yourself for that. Your future spouse, my dear pal, too, wants you to know that before you entered their life, they were, let me see, wow, yeah, they were not that, I would say, hopeful when it comes to love or when it comes to maybe a certain love real love maybe they even ask themselves is true love a thing is there really like the one out there for me will i find a partner who is compatible to me or who is my person i feel like your future spouse prior before you guys met they could have asked themselves these things and maybe at the time they weren't that hopeful regarding the answers but once again we're coming back to this aspect of you entering their life and bringing a lot of light with you a lot of hope with you a lot of inspiration i'm also hearing with you you're going to be your future spouse's muse and this is not gender specific whoever you are whoever your future spouse is you're going to be a great source of inspiration to them and you're going to see it i'm hearing 
they're gonna make it pretty clear. Your future spouse, my dear pal, too, could also be someone who, by the way, loves to compliment you because I'm getting so many compliments coming through. I'm hearing you, like, first of all, I'm hearing your eyes. I should tell you guys how much your future spouse is in love with your eyes, how expressive they are, how beautiful they are. I'm hearing I could lose myself in them. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I feel like your future spouse is a little bit romantic or mm, they may sometimes say certain things that make you a little bit, um, like I can literally see someone's cheeks turning red, that's very sweet, <laughs> so they definitely know what to say to make you... Um, I'm hearing feel happy or to make you feel empowered, which your future spouse wants me to tell you that words for them mean a lot. They don't just say something just because. Words are so, so powerful. They can hurt someone and they can heal someone. They can uplift someone and they can break someone. Words, we should never underestimate the power that, yeah, that is within them. And especially when it comes to other people telling us stuff, it can impact us. So these things that your future spouse is sharing with you, it's truly, my dear pal, too, means a lot to them. And they know that, yeah, I'm hearing what I say is what I mean. Your future spouse... I'm hearing they look up to you. Your future spouse looks up to you. If you haven't met them yet, maybe at the time you will meet them there is something in your life that you dedicate a lot of energy into, maybe a purpose, maybe a passion, whatever it may be. And they're going to see how much energy and effort you put into it. And they're going to have so much respect for that. Your future spouse wants me to share with you that. I'm hearing you are one in a million. This is so sweet, you guys. I know, I feel like some things your future spouse is sharing here could be seen as a little bit cheesy, but this is who they are, you know? And as I said, these words are not words that they are just um, saying lightly or sharing with you lightly, but they truly mean it. And it means a lot. Like, those words are all energetically charged, you know? Yeah, I'm hearing, I never doubted you for a second. What is that supposed to mean? I know, like, I'm not really getting any background or, like, information about that or any more insights. So maybe it's for someone specific watching. I'm hearing once again, I never doubted you for a second. So yeah, if you feel like it is yours, take it. If not, then just leave it. Your future spouse wants me to tell you guys that one thing they admire about you so, so much that means a lot to them is the fact that you're someone who doesn't take advantage of your power. If you ever come into a situation which, let's just say, you are a little bit influential or you have some kind of authority over other people, you are the kind of individual who doesn't take advantage of it or tries to boost their ego um, through putting other people down. And this is something I'm hearing which like robs your future spouse the wrong way. Maybe they have seen it a lot throughout their life and it's something they absolutely hate, I'm hearing, and cannot stand. And there's going to be a um, situation in which they will see the complete opposite. 
they're going to see that you are so powerful and you could actually be very influential. But instead of putting others down, you actually uplift them with you. And this means so much to them because it speaks so much of your character and what kind of person you are. And they also, they have so much respect for this. They have so much respect for you, my dear. Another thing your future spouse would like to share with you is, and this is very interesting because I feel like it's, I don't know whether it has actually something to do with your relationship, but your future spouse would like to share with you that I'm hearing the manifestation that you may have given up on or the manifestation that maybe you aren't that hopeful on, um, Keep it alive. It's kind of like there is a manifestation coming towards you, but you have lost um, your like your focus, or maybe you have been discouraged. You think you cannot manifest it into your life, whatever it may be, whether it's love related or whether it's connected to a complete different area of your life. Your future spouse is encouraging you, you here, my dear pal, to to keep going. If you are watching this and you're trying to manifest something, even if it, if it has um, been a little bit discouraging, even if it did not go as planned, still your future spouse would like to tell you that you are actually bringing it in. Even if it's not with the speed you thought it would be, even if you waited more, even if you cannot see it yet but it's coming. So yeah, keep going, keep doing, keep focusing. It is not, I'm hearing it is not as it seems. Maybe you feel like sir, something you have been trying to manifest is, um, yeah, very, very far away from you, but it, it could actually be much closer than you think is basically what I'm getting. My dear pal too, this is all I have for you guys for today. Now, if you would like to, sh no, not share, <laughs> you can also share, but if you would like to claim <laughs> this reading as yours, then let's go with a star emoji. Drop a star emoji in the comment section below if you would like to claim this energy as yours. As always, if you haven't, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload an epic card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal too. Take care, my dear. Hey pal 3, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see what channeled messages do we have for you from your future spouse. Let's start straight away. I have your candle right here. So let's start. All right. Okay. So my dear pal 3, as always, please give me a moment and then let's see. What messages do we have here for you from your future spouse? Okay. Oh, this is a very interesting message. The first thing, my dear pal, three, your future spouse would like to share with you is... They love all the things that make you stand out or that make you different. Now, let me explain what they mean by that. Yeah, you know, we're living in a world in which a lot of people are trying to be the same, look the same, have the same. And sometimes when a person, you know, is coming through very authentically, when they are um, not afraid to stand out or, or when they are 
ähm, ja, when they are sharing their own individual colors with the world, sometimes the world can discourage a person. Or some people may then, because of the feedback that they get from, you know, the environment, feel like, okay, no, I should not do it. You know, I should not really stand out like that. It is not a good thing. But your future spouse actually encourages it. They love it when you are... I'm hearing who you came here to be. You did not come here to try to be someone you're not or to be the same as everyone else. You came here to be you. Whoever you are, whatever your name is, you came here to be you and whenever your future spouse sees your authenticity coming through your individuality your the things that make you different the things that make you unique they love it they absolutely love it my dear i feel like for some of you guys by the way it could be the case that you and your future spouse are a little bit different so yeah maybe um there is something about the way you guys grew up where you're coming from whatever it may be your experiences in life but there could be some differences but these differences are exactly what they love about you i'm hearing i would never want you to change no your future spouse would never want to see you change for them or to change for anyone else, you know? Whatever transformation you want to do, if you want to do it for yourself, that's great. But they never want to see you feel pressured or um, shamed into being something you absolutely don't want to be. And one thing you will definitely notice and this is something your future spouse yeah wants to emphasize that within the connection of you guys within this relationship that you guys are going to have you will never feel like you need to change for them or you need to hide you can't be your true self absolutely not your future spouse is going to create a space in which your eth yeah your authenticity has a room your authenticity has its own place and yeah wow i love this energy so so much you guys i can already say that this is definitely my favorite pile i mean there is truly something so empowering and free about this pile your future spouse wants you to know that yeah, and speaking of free, hmm, they will never, yeah, they, mm, they never want to make you feel trapped or so. One of the most important things for your future spouse is for you to feel free, for you to have your space and for you to always feel like I'm hearing you are your own person. There is no room in this relationship for codependency. For some reason, I'm also hearing trauma bonding. I don't know whether some of you guys um, may have experienced that before in like previous relationships. But once again, I'm hearing no room in this relationship for these things. No. And one thing your future spouse also, yeah, they want me to share with you that one important love language to them is gift giving. So just so you know, gift giving, it's something that's very important to them, especially when they can give you something that you wanted or when they see that you know, your eyes sparkle because you received something you wanted or because you just, you know, you were surprised, whatever it may be. But I really feel like your future spouse, they love to give.
But speaking of giving as well, this is the kind of relationship, my dear pile three, it feels very fair. It feels very balanced. I don't feel like it is only your future spouse constantly giving and not, and not receiving anything in return. But I actually feel like in this space, we're getting two mutual energies combining, um, two equals meeting and... Yeah, your tr yeah, your future spouse truly sees in you an equal. I'm hearing they see in you a life partner. And you guys truly balance each other out. Yeah. I'm hearing the feminine and the masculine. And this is not gender specific, so it doesn't matter who's watching this or who you're asking about, but this is the energy of the divine feminine and the divine masculine you know, complementing, yeah, balancing each other out. This is the kind of energy that I am picking up on here when it comes to your relationship as well. This is so interesting. Your future spouse, my dear pal three, today, I feel like your pal was the one with the most messages, but like regarding the relationship, it really seems like Today, your future spouse is giving extra insights regarding the relationship. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Another thing your future spouse is actually showing me is... I can see a few celebrations, yeah, like different celebrations are shown to me, what is this about? I don't know, for some of you guys, you could be from a place where um, maybe you celebrate the wedding in like different um, celebrations, you know, like maybe you're going to have a engagement party, a wedding party, like whatever it may be, um, for other stuff, you could be a cultural thing, maybe you, like in your culture, there are multiple things that need to be celebrated when it comes to wedding, but for some reason, your future spouse is sharing this with me, maybe it's supposed to be a confirmation for someone, but yeah, very interesting, wow, I can tell you, I'm seeing delicious food, you guys, I'm literally getting hungry, like <laughs> delicious food, and also... The guests, they're wearing very beautiful things. Very interestingly, um, my attention is being, yeah, is being drawn towards the guests. That's interesting. Yeah, this is actually all I'm getting for you guys. This is interesting. You guys had the shortest reading, but honestly, I feel like it was the most like impactful. Like I can tell you this is um my favorite pal today. Yeah. My dear pal three, if you would like to claim this energy as yours, then Let's go with an animal emoji. Drop any animal of your choice in the comment section below if you would like to claim this energy as yours. As always, if you haven't, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload a new pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal three, take care, my dear.